Hello again, Great Southern Nation Miniature Man, and I've got the War Games Atlantic uh, Late Roman Legionaries in the Lorica Hamata, so the uh, chainmail. So if you're a fan of this sort of era, Late Roman era, um, rise and fall, decline and fall of the Roman Empire and so on, you'd be absolutely loving it at the moment because both this company, War Games Atlantic and Victrix, are focused squarely on this era and pumping out kits for everything that you might want. So, let's check out these guys. 24 figures, sprues of four, so six sprues all the same. And let's grab one of those and go through it. So, you will notice four infantry men, all with the Lorica Hamata, all with fairly similar poses, leaning to their left and none of them with arms on, so giving a lot of options as to how to attach them. Then we have quite a generous range of heads. Standard Roman ones, ones that probably could be used for Gothic heads. And we've got these Pannonian cap ones here. We've got one nice wolf head there. And you've got a range of extra bits to go on. Oh, there's another Pannonian hat. One extra bits to go on the helmet. So these cool crests, or sort of tails, and then the feather crests that can go on four helmets per sprue. So enough for everyone to have one of those if you wanted. Um, shield, just a one type of shield, quite large. They do have a cool feature with those lumbata stuck on the back for throwing at the hapless enemy. And uh, a few nice standard options, so Draco there, and um, a nice uh, flag one with the little Cairo symbol of the late Roman Empire on the top there. Other bits to look at, we've got a, a horn, although it looks like a massive bong pipe to me, <laughs> one or the other. Uh, and you got spears. I was throwing the lumbata, uh, and there's a few guys with swords. They do all have little sidearms already on the figures, but then you've also got a number of very large swords in sheaths. You've got, in fact, enough for everyone, four of those per sprue. Um, so quite a lot of options uh, for the late Romans there. So... Let's stick a few together, and then I'll get some properly painted up. In fact, I've already stuck some together. Just pull them out. A little bit of kit bashing, as usual. And a few of these guys I can put on their right arm yet, just so I can um, get to the minor details. I realised after putting his sword on, that it'd be pretty hard to get at him. So I've just done a base coat of black, and then uh, a dry brush with some creamy white paint. Attach the crest onto him, so he looks pretty cool as a command figure. Looking forward to seeing how he comes out. Then we've got a pretty standard legionary sort of guy there. In fact, that one's got a Victrix head. I just thought I'd look around and see how compatible they are, and they are very compatible. This one's got a goth head off the War Games Atlantic Gothic set. Is advertised sort of that they can be used as armored goths. So I thought I'd do one in that style. Got a couple of different styles of the late Roman helmets. This is the fairly um, peaked one. Kind of a tall head, these guys. Well, certainly that helmet style anyway. Uh, then there's a smaller kind of helmet style on a War Games Atlantic Gothic body. He's an armoured late Roman, I guess we're going to call him. And they are putting out a kit of unarmoured late Romans at some point, which looked very good. War Games Atlantic. As you're probably aware, there's already a Victrix one that's come out recently. Late uh, Romans unarmoured. In fact, this guy is one of them. But he's got a Pannonian cap off this kit. So a mixture of the two. So that's how they're looking so far. I'm going to get painting and I will be back with uh, a demo of how they look all painted up.
see you around. Here we are, painted up, finished uh, seven figures. So uh, I'll just give you a look at these as they move around. So these are pure War Games Atlantic late Romans in the Lorica Hamata. The next one is the one who's got a Victrix head on him, but otherwise he's all War Games Atlantic. I've got to say the plastic is just about the best plastic of any plastic kits I find. It's very hard. It has almost no seam lines. The the diameter of the spears is sort of almost perfect, I reckon, because it's um, solid without being kind of overly bulky or cumbersome. Um, but it seems a lot more sturdy than, say, the Victrix ones. I haven't broken any of these yet, and I don't think I would without um, some serious pressure on them. So that's probably the best feature of the War Games Atlantic kits in general. The only negative, you find a few of their shoulders. Uh, they just don't look great. So these two guys are pretty good. Maybe they'll put the wrong shoulders on the wrong guys or in the wrong sort of uh, positions. But this one, leader with a sword, particularly that uh, pointing left arm just doesn't look so great. The right arm's okay. So maybe it's my fault that I've stuck it on the wrong one. But they don't come with any instructions. So it looks like they're intended that anyone can fit with any other. However, they're great figures otherwise. Now the rest of them are slightly modified. So we've got the Goth. So he's all War Games Atlantic bits, just uh, Gothic head. So I think he's come up nicely. I'm pretty happy with him. Um, and then I'll chuck on a few that are more hybrids, more Victrix and War Games Atlantic. So this guy, if you've watched my video on how to paint, you might see him. You might also notice that I've just gone ahead and done the yellow around the outside of part of his shield just to add a bit of interest and to fit in with the other ones that I've done. Um, and then we've got a few unarmed late Romans. So this is the um, body of the War Games Atlantic Goth with the Roman uh, head and shield obviously. And then we've got a Victrix guy coming now, who is uh, just using the Pannonian cap off the War Games Atlantic and the shield off the War Games Atlantic. So they really integrate absolutely perfectly with each other, scale-wise and design. Really, they uh, fit in really nicely. So I do like these guys. Um, I'm going to do a few more. Some of them I haven't done the standard bearer, the guy with a wolf cloak. Uh, so there's a few other interesting ones that so they can put together. And obviously you could do a whole lot of goths in all sorts of different ways. So beautiful figures and work well together with Victrix or together with their other ones. And uh, as you know, they're putting out a few more kits. The army builder kit for the this late Roman period. And also the um, Franks coming at some point, which look to me to be the best of these decline and fall series kits you know uh, that they'll bring out but that's um, probably a few many months away I would think uh, so there you have it uh, let me know what you think if you've got both kits how do you find them compared to the Victrix how do you like them compared to the the Goths um, I think of all the War Games Atlantic ones I've got um, that is the Persians, the late, uh, the, the Dark Age Irish, the Goths, and these guys. I think I don't like these guys quite as much just because of the slightly odd shoulders that a few of them have. But as I think it's three out of four of these guys look fine. It's just the one who looks a bit funny. So it's probably the way I've put it together. That's a problem if you're careful to check which shoulders fit with which body. I don't think that's going to be a big issue. All right, like, subscribe, all that stuff, and stick around. I've got a prize draw for a sprue from this very kit for one lucky commenter. All right, prize draw time. The lucky entrance, we have Paul Jeffrey in the hat. JVC Paints. European Miniature Man, and while I think about it, I forgot to mention, there is a good 
range of uh, shield transfers you can get for these guys for their nice big um, Roman shields from relic miniatures uh, in Canada. Not Matthew. Um, yeah, so have a look at their website, Relic uh, Miniatures, I think they're called, or maybe they're Relic Games, anyway. Um, Canadian company make really nice metal figures, a little bit smaller than these scale, but um, they're also doing a lot of their shield transfers for War Games Atlantic. John Clark. John Clark. He's a comedian in Australia some years ago. Uh, Chris... Gaskin, is it? It's Gaskin, yes. And lucky second lucky last, Alex Barclay. And then we've got Wesley Myers. So if you're on the list, good luck to you. If you're not, you should have commented on the VNV Romans video. All right, closing up this hat. It's in there. Lucky winner is this one. We got Chris Gaskin. Well done. So if you are the real Chris Gaskin, make me um, put a comment. Give us your uh, address. I'll get them in the mail to you as soon as I can. All the best. See ya.